We're back with the reigning AFC rushing champion, Lisa. Yeah, the Pittsburgh Steelers really took a hit with Ben Roethlisberger going down with that knee injury. But the Steelers were going to be relying on Le'Veon Bell anyway after the breakout season that he had in 2014. Like you said, Andy, he was second in the league in total yards from scrimmage. Le'Veon Bell is a self-described mama's boy. And uh, for the most part, he has made his mama proud. But you'll get to see how Le'Veon has dealt with what he describes as one of the worst mistakes of his life. We got about two hours before kickoff. This is the first game of the year. And you're obviously excited that adrenaline rush is going through. Welcome to Foxborough's Gillette Stadium for this 2015 NFL kickoff between the defending Super Bowl champion New England Patriots and the Pittsburgh Steelers. How much does the playbook change for Ben? With no Le'Veon Bell. It's going to be millions of people watching this football game, uh, watching the Steelers play, and Le'Veon Bell won't be playing. So, um, no, it sucks, obviously. It's opening night of the NFL season. But Pittsburgh's Le'Veon Bell isn't with his team. He's here, in his hometown of Columbus, Ohio. The reigning AFC rushing leader is suspended for the first two games of the year. The whole situation that happened with me, with people you know, bashing me and calling me this and calling me that, you know, I want to prove those people wrong. Bell into the end zone, Pittsburgh Steelers touchdown. Le'Veon Bell. You know, you look at his upside, you say, well, can he become one of the best running backs in, in Steeler history? I say yes. He's got a chance to be the best in the world. His potential is, is however far he wants to take it, however good he wants to be. The All-Pro's path to NFL stardom has been as rocky as it is unlikely. A path the 23-year-old could not have traveled without the guidance of one person, his mother. Everything that she did, you know, made me so determined to get you know, to the point in my life where I wanted to go to the NFL. Um, watching her struggle um, and overcoming it, you know, I wanted to overcome anything. February 18th, 1992, Columbus, Ohio. Le'Veon Bell is born. When he was two, his father walked out on the family. Le'Veon's mother struggled to provide for him and his two younger brothers. I remember sometimes too that we had to take like quick cold showers, the hot wire would be turned off. She would go buy water like from Walmart or something and she would pour it, pour it in a pot and cut the oven on it so it can heat up. And we, we just take a wash up using that. There's times where they were eating, I was hungry, I didn't eat. But I didn't, you know, sit there and cry about it. Or even if when I did cry, or I was upset or sad, I never did it in front of them. My mom did a great job of, you know, not displaying her struggle. You know, she always was, you know, happy. Always seemed like everything was going great. At age four, Le'Veon found something else that made him happy, football. At the time, I think I just loved running from people, you know, because it was like kind of like tagging me, like, oh, you can't tag me, like, you, you can't touch me, you know? So that's what it was, like, with football with me. And, you know, I loved it. And for the Bell family, football meant the Pittsburgh Steelers. I was just one of them kids who, 
I'm like, oh, everybody like the Steelers. I want the Steelers to lose, you know, just because, like, I wanted to be different. She was like, I don't know why. You're going to get drafted by the Steelers. You better learn to level one day. And I stuck to, you're going to be a Steeler. You're going to the Steelers. If you play NFL, you want the Steelers. Working as a teaching assistant, Le'Veon's mother earned $15,000 a year. When there wasn't enough money for both bills and football, she found a way. Football camps. You know, he's like, Mommy, I gotta go, I gotta go. I may call AEP and say, I know my electric was due on the 15th. Can I pay you on the 30th? I mean, I know that's not good to do, but I did it. It's like so crazy, all the things that she sacrificed for me. Um, she did everything in her power for me to be able to um, have a pair of gloves for football or my favorite football cleats. By 2008, Bell's junior year, he was a star running back on his high school football team. Playing in the Buckeyes' backyard, he had hoped to wear the scarlet and gray. There's a physical run. Yeah, there's a good decision. Get, keep giving the ball to Le'Veon Bell. In 2009, as a senior, he rushed for 21 touchdowns and was an all-state selection. But Bell struggled academically, and the Buckeyes didn't come calling. Neither did any other major Division I programs. So what did you think when, you know, the, the scholarships weren't just rolling in like you thought they were? Like Man, it, it just made me more hungry. Like, it made me, like, I was just thinking the whole time, like, everybody that's not offering me, they're going to pay. It wasn't until December of 2009, after his senior season, that Le'Veon and his mother were invited to visit a Big Ten school. Michigan State. We had a guy leave the program at running back. We needed a running back. He had toughness. He was physical. If you watch him run the football, you know, that's pretty much all you need to say. Hands off to Le'Veon Bell. Big hole, left tackle. Touchdown, MSU! Another burst for a score. His mother attended every home game. And as a junior, Bell won the Big Ten rushing title, averaging 137 yards a game. He's going to run over you. He's going to run up, literally over you, through you, and around you. He's got great sense. He's got great power. Le'Veon Bell is ready for this moment. Following the season, he declared for the 2013 NFL Draft. With the 48th pick in the 2013 NFL Draft, the Pittsburgh Steelers and Steeler Nation select Le'Veon Bell, Michigan State. He just hugged me. He was like, Mom, you don't have to struggle no more. He said, I'm a stealer. I was like, I told you. I've been telling you this forever. You're going to be a stealer. You know, I just remember that hug like, I made it. You know, I'm, you're not struggling no more. He said, we made it. I'm like, yeah. She cried. You know, I hugged her for so long. You know, I felt like we, she was never going to let me go. I was never going to let her go. When I was hugging her, everything, you know, kind of played in my head like, Everything that she did, you know, made me so determined to get, you know, to the point in my life where I wanted to go to the NFL. In his first NFL season, Bell broke Franco Harris's team record for most yards from scrimmage by a rookie. And running for the pylon, Le'Veon Bell. Couples into the end zone for the Pittsburgh Steelers touchdown. Going into his second season, expectations were high. I wanted to be a pro bowler. Like, that, that's what I had my goal to. I was like, I want to be a pro bowler. I want to be, I want to make a name for myself this year. He would make a name for himself, but not in the way he or anyone else would have expected. Pittsburgh's got some problems. Dopes. It refers to the pending arrest of Steelers running backs Le'Veon Bell. How could you do this? Embarrass the organization like this? It was LeGarrette Blunt and Le'Veon Bell have to be two of the stupidest individuals. What was like the lowest point for you? Do that. 